Out here in the mountains of West Texas, you will find a rare animal. Desert bighorn sheep at one time completely disappeared from this region. Historically, the native Texas desert bighorn sheep occurred in about 16 mountain ranges out here in, in the Trans-Pecos, mainly due to uh, unregulated hunting, diseases associated with the introduction of domestic sheep and goats, and net wire fencing. Uh, they brought the demise of, of the desert bighorn, and by the early 1960s, they were, they were gone. They were all gone from Texas. <laughs> But the bighorn has made a comeback. Recent restoration efforts have brought a healthy bighorn population back to its native home. One key factor for the survival of the restored bighorn population is access to water. Water is scarce in these arid mountains, but there is a way to ensure the bighorn has enough to drink with a man-made watering hole called a guzzler. A guzzler is essentially a rainwater collection system for wildlife. We've got two large panels of sheet metal that collect the rainwater, funnel that down into storage tanks that feed two wildlife-friendly watering stations. These watering stations play a big role in bighorn sheep restoration, and they also provide for any thirsty critter that comes along. But it's no easy task getting a guzzler going. Uh, safety things on the bird. We do want you to duck a little bit. I saw you tall guys. Got to be careful because you're tall and. and you won't be. Yeah, don't ever raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see you later. <laughs> on this spring weekend, the Texas Bighorn Society has gathered at Black Gap Wildlife Management Area for a work project. These work projects normally last a couple of days and they are always in extremely remote areas. For this work project, we've had over 100 people here to help us build two water catchment devices we call guzzlers. Black Gap weren't already remote enough, the workers must travel by helicopter to the mountaintops where the guzzlers will be constructed. We use helicopters to ferry all the equipment we need to get up there and build the guzzlers high enough up to be utilized by the bighorn sheep. tanks anchored down, the troughs in place. I think all we have left to do now is put tin on, run our fast line to our troughs and plumb everything in. That looks good. Uh, it's a hands-on organization. I brought uh, my son and his friend so they could see what real conservation is. And we've been doing it a couple of years now. And he's a junior in high school and he'll be able to take this as a lifetime event for him. Now we need to get over there and proceed. By the end of the day, this team has completed their mission, leaving behind their mark on this mountain. And after a scenic ride back to camp, they're rewarded with a well-earned feast among friends. Are you, are you in the way? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Before the weekend is done, the group is already collecting funds for the next effort. I got 200. Can I have two and a half? Two and a half. I got three. I got three. Three, three, three. I need three. I have 306 U.S. dollars right over here. Yay. This land is suitable for all the game that live here. It was missing one thing, water. And now it'll have water. That's conservation right there. 